Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out this airport sim. This is just a demo. Um, as you can see, the game is out now and you can buy it. I don't know what it's all about. I, I seen some things on it. It kind of looked fun. I decided to try to demo and uh, put it on the channel and you guys can kind of tell me if, if this is something that you'd like to see on the channel more. Maybe it's something that we can live stream or we can do videos on but uh yeah let's let's get in here and let's do the tutorials now i already did the tablet one and honestly the tablet is incredibly boring it just literally tells you everything about your tablet so we're just going to skip that one for the video and we're going to go right in to the chocks and cones so what we have here originally the 737's construction was developed from the 727 to supplement the market on short and medium routes the fourth generation max was first announced on july 2011 cool so apparently this has like branded equipment in it so that's pretty cool i am playing on my controller it says it has xbox support but i am using a ps4 yeah, controller here Alrighty, so in this game, you're not flying the planes, you're just doing all the uh, the kind of ground crew work, I guess, preparing the planes, getting people on and off the plane, lo loading luggage, and stuff like that. So let's see here, pick up chocks. Press X to pick up. Oh, okay, that's not, okay, that's different on the uh, PlayStation. Okay, so on the PS4 controller, it is a square to pick up. So we'll pick those up, and we'll pick those the up. Aircraft has arrived at the gate, and its engines and all beacon lights are switched off. You may safely approach the aircraft's front set of wheels. Place a set of chocks under the wheels. To do this, approach and point at the front wheels, and press the displayed button to place a set of chocks. to get too close to that engine <laughs> it's not a good thing well that's loud wow oh that's even worse holy crap okay <laughs> let me just check one thing really quick here okay had to just lower that a little bit that is really loud now head over to the indicated set of cones okay so how many cones do we need we need one and that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cones we need? Okay. To raise them, press the displayed button, click the displayed button to rotate them upwards, and use the displayed button to position them. To throw the object, hold down the displayed button. Just like with Chocks, place the cones in their indicated areas. The order in which you do this doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so we can't pick up any more, apparently. So we'll have to pick up those other ones. Okay, so we just have to place the cones. This is easy enough. This is a nice, chill game. So apparently this game is going to come to Xbox, but not PS5. I... I I'm not sure why. And also, I have the settings as high as they'll go on this, so I'm not sure if this is just my PC or if this is just the the uh, the demo look or if this is how the game actually looks. I don't think it looks too bad. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to go back and get more cones because our guy is incredibly weak and he can only carry six at a time, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so let's place this last cone. There we go. Oh, okay. If we click in the left stick, 
the dude kind of runs nice. All right, let's pick up these cones. And place the last two and see what happens. Now, the bypass pin needs to be inserted into its slot on the strut of the front wheels. The purpose of this pin is to prevent the cockpit crew from having any steering control of this wheel, as it can pose a danger to the crew on the ground if moved accidentally. It also allows the ground crew to take control of steering of the aircraft by bypassing the aircraft's pressurized hydraulic systems during a pushback procedure. You'll learn more about this in another tutorial. Now approach the front wheel and firmly insert the bypass pin in its slot indicated by the marker. All right, boss. So press X to insert bypass pin. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this dude. Okay, you know what? This dude is very long-winded. Holy crap, I'm trying to do a video here, dude. And you're just talking, talking, talking. All right, so basically we have to do everything we did over there just in reverse. So I'm guessing we pull the pin. Uh, do we want to pick up the chalks? first no we did that last we did that last okay so let's let's pick up the cones there we go so we can only carry six at a time we have three there you go keep them nice and straight here i mean honestly <laughs> this this is a pretty cool game you know i'm gonna say uh, i wish i had games like this when i was a kid because i think it's a really cool way to like, learn about different jobs and stuff, you know? I mean, oops. This may not be, I don't know, like, 100% accurate, but it gives you some idea of, of what goes on. And uh, I think it's really cool. So, oh, yeah, we have this one. Okay. Yeah, as I said, we don't have to pick this one up. This one wasn't marked before. All right, pick that up there. It is still, it's like crazy to me that, you know, we sit here and we actually enjoy games like this where, you know, this is actually someone's job, right? But it's, uh, it's fun. It is fun. And I mean, so far, this is pretty cool. All right. All right, so the last tutorial is the GPU. So I'm a little confused. Um, now, you know what? Obviously, these tutorials are just for the demo. These are the only things that we probably have to do in the demo. I was just thinking, I'm like, is this literally all we have to do in the game? Uh, chocks and cones and GPU? But no, I'm, I'm pretty sure that once you get the game, there's, there's a ton more to do. So, you know, maybe, maybe this will be a game I will get 
Um, it seems kind of fun. So even if I don't put it on the channel, maybe a game I get just just for me to to play to, to have some fun with. So let's uh, let's hop into the GPU section here. Oh, we even got a bus here. The C-Bus 3000 is the most popular shuttle bus on Earth. At almost every airport, you'll be able to spot it. Awesome. All right, so let's hop into this and hear this guy again. Oh, he really does go on, doesn't he? Holy crap. Okay, so as you can see, this this plane, uh, it came in and they they did everything for me that we just did in the previous little tutorial. So well, let's go over here, and I guess we have to hop into this vehicle. Ah, look at that. This thing looks pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Not sure you really need to get on the radio and tell me that, but okay. Okay, so on off engine. Oh wow, it's it's really loud. That's cool. So if you take off your headphones, this is what it sounds like without your protective headgear on. Very loud. Okay, so how do I? Oh, okay. So that's weird. On the PS4 controller, it's like you have the share button to change vehicle views. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so let's just back up to this. Now, in the settings to this, apparently this has wheel support? <laughs> that seems strange, but uh, drag with RT. Okay, so we will go a little first-person action here. See what it looks like in the cab. It looks pretty cool. Let's just take a look in the cab here. Yeah, it looks pretty decent, man. It doesn't. It doesn't look bad. We can turn it all the way around, just like Farming Simulator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I didn't even really need to go in the outside view. I could have just turned right around. Okay. So we got to get this over in this green area here. So let's do that. He said disconnect it, right? So, okay, we'll do that. Kind of just. Why can't I draw you? Okay, there we go. Kind of want to just get it away from there. Let's open this panel up. Okay. Now you'll need to hold down the engine start button for approximately three seconds until the engine starts. 
So when we actually get in the game, these are things that we're going to have to remember. So let's hold this. Now we have to wait 30 seconds until the engine heats up and the oil temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, go to the nose of the aircraft and open the hatch where the connector is located. Uh, okay, but I kind of want to know which one of these gauges... Is it temperature for the oil? Because the oil up there, that's not a temperature gauge, right? That's oil pressure. Temp. That only that goes from 100 to, hmm. Okay, I guess they don't, they don't show you. All right, so let's go here and open this little panel. This is actually pretty cool. This is interesting. Press the DC output button to the on position. DC output. Okay. Now notify the cockpit crew through the communication panel that they can turn off the APU and switch to GPU power. Open this panel using the controls displayed on screen. Um. Oh my goodness. What is that? Is that down? <laughs> Down on the D-pad? Navigate to the flight deck option, then APU, and then Ground turn crew. off the APU. Fuel, engine, walk around, APU, and turn off the APU? Okay. Alright. Great. Now the aircraft is powered only by the GPU, and the rest of the ground crew and the aircraft crew can continue with their work. Nice. I feel like he could say this a lot quicker. Your task now is to notify the cockpit crew that they may start the APU. To do this, open the communication panel using the controls displayed on screen. Select flight deck, APU, and start APU. Okay, so we're doing this again. Flight deck. APU is up here. Turn it on. Okay, so this might get loud. We're going to take off the headphones, guys. Okay, so we're at 85%. 90. We're climbing. We're almost there. Nice. All right, this is this is cool. I'm enjoying this. This is actually pretty fun, man. I can't wait to. I think I'm gonna get this game. Then turn the engine switch from run to idle. Finally, unplug the cable connected to the aircraft and place it back into the GPU. Great, everything went according to plan. Now you need to return the GPU. Location at the parking ramp to complete the tutorial. 
So we do we keep this on? Close that, I guess. It didn't say shut it off, so we're going to leave it on. Um, drag. There we go. Get back in here. Okay, just do that just so we can take a look at the graphics here, because why not? And now we got to bring this back to where we got it from. Pretty straightforward. Not bad at all. I like it. All right, so that's it, guys. That's that's all the tutorials right there. So let's uh let's go back to the menu. Uh, yeah. All right. So like I said, the tablet it just tells you all about the tablet. It was pretty boring. Uh, so I did that one. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on this, and then that's uh that's where we were at. So pretty cool, guys. I I actually uh I really enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do you want to see more of this game? If you do. You know, leave a, leave a yes in the comments. Um, like I said, I, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Um, it seems fun. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you next time.